Hi. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, a new thing here. This is my prototype. It's the Mike Z Design shop apron. It's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of cool details I'll get into here in a second. I'm just going to tell you why I did this. I've been wearing a, a, an apron in a shop environment for decades. And the aprons that are out there that you can buy all are flawed in one way or another, in my opinion. I've looked at them all. I've had quite a few of them. Every apron I've ever purchased, I have modified. <clears throat> Usually it's the strap system. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about the pockets that are on there. I've cut some off, I've tried to add flaps and whatnot. Um, but they just never made any sense. So, I drew this up quite some time ago and I never did anything about it, but recently, my shop apron vanished. And so for the last couple months, I've been wearing, a, I took an old set of overalls, extra large overalls. I went to a thrift store, cut the legs off, split it up the back, and that's what I've been wearing. You can see it in some of my Instagram videos. Comfortable, a lot of coverage. I kept the back pockets on, and that's fine. But it still wasn't perfect. <clears throat> so I put the word out that I wanted this done, and a, man, a sweetheart of a lady in the uh, Kentucky. Barbara, thank you so much. She made it for me. She made me two. She provided me with the pattern. So I'll be making some more. I'll make them available for sale at some point. And I'm just, I, I couldn't be more thrilled with, with the way this turned out. I'm going to go over the details now. And, and you'll notice right off the bat, there's no pockets across here, at least across the front, for good reason. I belly up to a, a work surface all the time. It's a, it's a uh, work table, workbench, or a table saw, or one of the other machines. And this just gets in the way. You'll see a lot of aprons have pockets here, and they just collect sawdust that gets thrown back at you from the machines. It doesn't make any sense. So what I did is I kept this open, added two pockets here with a slant to get in, which keeps dust from wanting to fall in in the first place. They're large enough. Put my little uh, square in here, which I use all day long in the shop. Just to put your hands in here is kind of nice. <laughs> you know, when you're thinking, oh, what am I doing next? I don't know. It's just, it's just a comfort thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's big enough for that. It's not designed, really, for you to be carrying nails or screws and whatnot, like a lot of these other aprons will have. But I'll tell you what you can do. You could take a plastic container, and you put your screws in there, and these pockets are large enough where you could put this right in here. So if I'm putting something together, and I want to do that, boom. Nice and easy. You'd think that'd be common sense for most people, but it ain't. <laughs> got a little clip here for your tape measure. Hammer loop. I did that on both sides for lefties. Upper pocket. This is kind of an interesting detail, okay? Originally, my, my thought on this was it was for your uh, iPod, which is how I work a lot in the shop. I listen to music. If I'm sanding all day or if I'm using uh, the machines, put the iPod in here. You got, I, bought, I use this here in protection. I want to check that out, actually. This is a great set of headphones. Uh, the sound's actually pretty good for music, but it's good for the shop to keep your uh, hearing protected. Um, this pocket's also large enough for your cell phone. Actually, look at that. You can put your cell phone and your iPod in there at the same time. <laughs> I know you're looking at those pencils, right? And you're going, what the heck's he doing with these pencils? Why does he need so many pencils? Well, when I'm working, I'm using a pencil all day. I'm sketching dimensions on wood. I'm drawing things out. And the, the, the point gets worn, or you might snap it once in a while. You just grab the next one. As your pencils get shorter, you can you got a place to put it. Most pencil pockets are one height and the shorter pencil gets lost in the pocket and then you gotta fish it out later. And that's a hassle. It's a waste of my time. Also, when I'm working and the pencil breaks or snaps, I don't want to have to walk over to the pencil sharpener and lose my train of thought. I just want to be able to grab another pencil with a fresh point and keep working. It's a time saver. All right? I've got the logo here branded into my leather. I mean, there you have it. It's a two-inch strap, cross-back, fast-x buckles. Once you adjust it to your size, 
where you want it. It's that easy uh, to get on and off, right? Hang it up in the shop, come back the next morning. <clears throat> And it's, you know, that easy to put back on. The coverage is great. I went pretty high here. Went below the knee. And there's a split here. So you can move and it won't bind on you. This, these particular ones, these prototypes, are sewn double, double layer. So pretty heavy duty. This apron will probably last me the rest of my life. I'm pretty old, so that ain't, that's not much longer. <laughs> that's the deal, man. Uh, I'll tell you something. I, these things should be advertised in Fine Woodworking Magazine, Architectural Digest. <laughs>